Thank you, Counsel. Justice Thomas, anything further? Uh, Mr. Whitaker, the, um, you perceive the uh, speech to be uh, in this case or Thank you, Counsel. Justice Thomas, anything further? Uh, Mr. Whitaker, the, um, could you give us uh, sort of your best explanation of what you perceive the uh, speech to be uh, in this case or alleged to be in this case? Well, well, as I understand uh, their contention, it's, it's the, this idea that the platforms in having content moderation policies are somehow creating a welcoming community, I guess. Uh, it seems to me at that level of generality, that can't really be a cognizable message. That seems to me more like a tautology than, than a message. Basically, we want the people on our sites that we want. And, and, and I think at that level of generality, certainly the Pruneyard case would have to come out the other way because in Pruneyard, the mall certainly wanted to ban leafleting because it wanted to create a certain environment. And yet this court said that they did not have a, a First Amendment right to do that. I, I think what I was more interested in is, um, you know, we're talking, we're using broad terms like content moderation. Uh, and throughout the briefs, you have shadow banning. Uh, deprioritizing and all sorts of things. And I guess it, with these facial challenges, I always have a problem that we don't, we're not talking about anything specific. And an as applied challenge, at least we know what's in front of us and what your interpretation, or at least the state's interpretation of its law is in that case. Now we're just uh, speculating uh, as to what the law means. So. I'm just trying to get more of uh, more specificity uh, as to what the speech is in this case. They are censoring, uh, as far as I can tell, and uh, I don't know of any protect, uh, speech interest in censoring other speech, but uh, perhaps there is something else. Well, I don't think that they do have a, certainly not a speech interest. I mean, at most, I think that they would have some interest in the inherently, allegedly inherently expressive conduct of speech. You know, that way of looking at it, I take it my friends from the United States agree with, but we do not think they have a message in censoring and deplatforming users from the sites any more than the law schools in FAIR had a message in booting military recruiters off campus. We have a problem that we don't, we're not talking about anything specific. And, as and yet this court said that they did not have a First Amendment right to do that. I think what applied challenge, at least we know what's in front of us and what you're alleged to be in this case. Well, well as I understand, uh, their policies are somehow creating a welcoming community, I guess. Uh, it seems